Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing an Ipsy unboxing and try on. I'm also going to be updating everybody on some stuff. I know it's been a while. Um, unfortunately, I got sick towards the end of last year and it was one of two things. It was either the worst flu I have ever experienced in my entire life or it was COVID. I can't say for sure which it was because there were no tests available anywhere in town. So, yay for not knowing. But now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into my Ipsy. Now, this is January's Ipsy. I'm sorry I did not get February's done. Um, like I said, I got sick. So the first thing we've got here is a brush. This was inside the mailer, but not inside the bag. We'll look at that in a minute. Let's go ahead and do this brush first. It's really pretty. It's got a clear kind of iridescent handle. It's nice, not too fluffy, but very soft brush. Um, I think it's Elena Badro. But that's literally all the information that's on the brush but it's really nice I think it'll be a good eyeshadow brush and then let's look at the bag this bag is absolutely adorable I love this it's got kind of a soft tada color to it it's got a very nice soft feel to it almost like a pleather type feel but not overly plasticky the zipper is yellow there's a little smiley face. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. There, there you go. There's a smiley face on the pull tab, which is so cute. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, it's just white on the inside. We'll look at that in a minute. But here's the card. Hopefully this will have the information on our bag. This month's theme is Happy Vibes. Need all of that I can get. Okay, the first thing we're going to pull out of here is, okay, let me see if I can find some information on it. I'm pretty sure this is a Lovecraft Beauty based on that little symbol right there that looks like Lovecraft. Yep, definitely Lovecraft Beauty, it says so up here. The shade is Dream Pop. It looks like it's going to be a gloss. Let's open that up. Plastic sticking to me. <laughs> okay. Nice little doe foot applicator. Let's swatch this on the back of my hand. Okay, it's just a clear gloss. It's got some shimmer to it that's not going to show up very well on camera, I'm sure. Let me see. There we go. You can kind of see it there, but it doesn't show the fact that it's got kind of an orangey shimmer to it. But yeah, it's nice. It's a gloss feels sticky on the back of the hand, but that's kind of to be expected. Up next, oh, I should have pulled this out first. White Jasmine and Shea Goat Milk Body Lotion by Dionis, D-I-O-N-I-S. Dionis? Hmm. Hydrates and moisturizes will soothe and repair dry skin. And dry skin is definitely an issue between the season change and... The hand washing constantly backs of my hands are very very dry I don't know if you'll even be able to tell how dry that is back there but hmm, just a nice clean smell kind of a thin lotion probably should have shook it up a little bit before I put it on you can see it right there there feels kind of cooling on the back of the hand it definitely takes it a while to absorb. A little goes a very long way because I just coated the whole back of my hand with that little dollop. Hmm. It's got kind of a vanilla -y type smell to it. Not anything overpowering, but nice. It says it's white jasmine and shea, but I'm not picking up either of those, but I like it. Next, we have something in bubble wrap. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, something from MTU NYC Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Cobble Hill. Now, I'm not sure if that's two different shades or if they just have the same shade name. Packaging is very reflective because it's just a clear, hard plastic. Eh, still got a lot of reflective plastic there. They do both look to be shimmery shades. Swatch these on the back of my wrist. There we go. This is the darker one and this is the lighter one. Got kind of a bronzy tone and kind of a coppery golden tone. They're pretty. They are both shimmery. So I'll have to see what I can work out to incorporate this into a look because we are going to be doing that. And the very last product is the Professional Light Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. Hmm. Of course, we know these samples are going to be teeny tiny, but their professional is pretty good. Now, this one is kind of a new one. It's a light primer, and I was going to show you all. Just an inside of it is very soft, very white. Won't stay clean for very long, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, the last thing in here was the professional primer sample. So let's take a look in here and see if we've got our prices. Sorry. But we'll look and see if we've got our prices, and we do not. That is disappointing. I miss having my prices inside, my value. But it's just a rundown of skincare ingredients, what they do, and how quickly they work. But I can't do a rundown of how much everything costs, so... We'll get back to that later, I guess. But now it's time for the try-on. Okay, there was no safety seal on that. I don't like that. I much prefer a safety seal. Of course, this is pretty much just a clear primer. Very thick, just like all of their primers. But we also know that with a thick primer like that, a little goes a very long way. Spread that out between my fingers. Very silicone feeling. I'm not a fan of silicone primers. Okay, that absorbs very, very quickly. I'm not even entirely sure I had enough, but there's only about enough of that to use it maybe twice. And I apologize for the lighting, y'all. I still have not been able to get a new ring light. Um, I'm working on it still, I promise. I really am. For foundation, we're going to go in with the Believe Beauty foundation. This is in the shade Buff. I picked this up from the Dollar General for like $4 and I absolutely love it. It has become my go-to foundation when I wear basically every day. Let's brush just turn around here where I can get to the right one. I'm also going to be using some other cream products. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I dropped one of my brushes that I'm going to need pretty quick. Um, I'm going to be using some other cream products, some cream bronzer and blush. So I'll be doing that first. And literally one pump of this foundation is all it takes. It's kind of on the thin side, but I really, really like it. And I just start out, I dab it all over. I'm not blending it right now. I'm just getting it spread a little bit across the face. And beginning to blend so that I don't have any like super thick spots anywhere but also not blending too well because I know I'm gonna go back over everything and blend all of it in together bring it down under my chin because my skin is starting to lighten up some because being inside more often in the colder months and then of course we had some winter weather last night here in Arkansas. It was pretty much all gone by this morning, thankfully, which means no major issues with traffic or roads needing to be cleared or anything like that, at least in my part of the state. Okay, so we've got my foundation on, and like I said, that goes on so quick, so smooth. Y'all can see, it just looks absolutely fantastic. And take my concealer. This is the 
Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I do not remember the brand. The cap broke off of the applicator, but it's fine. A little dab on the inner corner and the outer corner, right in the middle of my nose and on the tip of it. Bring some down here between my jawline and my cheekbone, and then just a little bit on the forehead. And just a dot right above the cupid's bow in the center of it i've got my mirror right behind me that's where i keep looking Let's start blending that out at the forehead and the cupid's bow down the nose but not too well because that'll get blended out better after we add the contour same with this along the cheek and jaw area and then get into the inner corner and go all the way across that under eye area. You can see that versus this side that I haven't blended yet. And you, like I said, those two little dots go all the way across. It does not take a whole lot of product. And you can see that. And you can see how well that goes on. That's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so next I'm taking the Ginza, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Y-E-N-S-A bronzer. It's the Superfood Cosmetics Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. And this actually makes a really good contour for me. You can tell I've used it quite a bit. It's not too dark, and like I said, I just kind of swirl it a little bit right there. On either side just at the base of my cheekbone I go just a little here at the very edge of my jawbone just a dot in each temple too much and then down either side of my nose and that's Pretty much the amount that I use of this, that little tub is going to last me forever. And then I go back with my foundation brush and just blend all of that in. Blend it really, really well. You don't want it to look like you've got makeup there. You just want it to look like your bone structure. And the reason I put it directly into the temples is because I do have just a little bit of a divot there. If you don't have a divot there, don't put it there. The only place you need to put your contour color is in the places where you want to create a shadow. That's what contour is. It's creating a shadow. Now then, I'm going to use the YC Collection Liquid Blush. Um... This is in the shade Watermelon. I know that sounds terrifying, but it's really not. What I do is I take just a little bit of it with the applicator onto the back of my hand. Obviously, if you are a professional and have this in your kit, you would put that on a plastic palette rather than the back of your hand. But this is my personal makeup. And I just take and dip the brush into that and dab it on and begin to blend it out, but not too perfectly. Just keep it from having one spot that's thicker than the rest and repeat that on the other side and I do bring that up some putting it higher on the cheekbone I really miss having my ring light y'all <laughs> it makes my makeup application so much better um, if y'all want to contribute to the channel I will put my payment links down below in the description box um, no pressure you are not in any way obligated to fund this channel I don't blame you if you don't want to but I appreciate it if you do um, I'm also gonna throw it out there I do tarot readings um, this month I'm offering a 12 card reading for the entire year for $25 um, again, no pressure. Just if you decide that's something you want to look into, then just include that in a message to me and I will be more than happy to help you with it. 
Okay, so I think for the eyes, since these are both shimmer shades, I'm going to pull in another palette. I'm going to be using the uh, Venus Flying Bailey Sarian and Estate palette. So it's got some nice neutral tones that I think will work well with this eyeliner eyeshadow duo that I got. We're going to start with the shade Tan Lines in here, and that's just going to be a real simple transition shade. And we're just going to use our new brush and just kind of blend that all the way through the crease. And of course, you can't really see it that well because it's a neutral shade. And I apologize for any sounds that may have come through. I just realized I did not put my phone on silent before I started recording. <laughs> but it's too late now. Just adding a little bit more of that. Because it's... Like I said, it almost blends in perfectly to my skin tone, so you can't hardly see it. But I'm going to be going back to that brush again here in a minute. Let me see what I've got over here. Let me clean this one off real quick. Just a little bit. Sorry about that. I've been experimenting with some stuff, using different colors and stuff in my eyebrows, because as you can see, my hair is blue. <laughs> I colored my hair, I bleached my hair, and then I colored it blue. Next, we're going to go into the shade Toasty, which is this other neutral over here. It's kind of a warm, ready brown. And we're just going to take that, and on a very flat brush, we're going to directly outline the shape that we want to have, and bring that all the way across the crease, but doing it inside the crease. So I'm going to look at my mirror while I do this. And you almost don't want to see the shade Toasty popping up above the crease over here. See how you almost can't see it? That's how I want it to be. And then we're going to take a little bit more and go from the bottom corner up to where that reaches at the outer corner and kind of bring it to a point like that. And of course, we'll go back and blend that out a little bit more smoothly later. I'm going to repeat that on this side. You can see what I'm doing a little better on this side in the monitor. And like I said, we're just creating the shape that we want this makeup look to take, this eye look. You can see I brought that down a little bit further on this side than I did on this one. But I will go back and add more to that. And we're not bringing it too far in on the bottom. If my camera would focus. There we go. You can see we're not bringing that all the way in or all the way across on the bottom. We're mostly just wanting to create that nice V shape on the outer corner of the eye. There we go. You can kind of see what I'm going for there, I hope. And again, on the other side. Okay. So next, we're going to take this fluffy brush that we've already been using. And we're going to just kind of go over this outer corner area and into the crease. Just to kind of give that a good blend. Don't want to leave anything too sharp at the top. And I'm just moving this kind of slowly. You can blend slowly. You don't have to blend fast. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the new eyeshadow duo. I'm going to use... Hmm, this one's kind of a flat ish brush. I want a fluffy flat brush if that makes sense. <laughs> kind of like this. This is not real it's fluffy but it's not real big and loose. I mean it's tightly packed but it's very fluffy and it's kind of on the flatter side. We're going to go into this darker shade from this duo and we're going to start that at this outer corner and we're going to bring that in across the lid. 
and we are just applying these both dry. And we're not going to bring it all the way across the lid, just part way. But we don't want to leave a distinct line or anything. And of course, we do want to bring that up and a little bit further in on the crease than what we do on the outer corner. We're going to repeat that on the other one. And his head from the outer corner, bringing it in. I said about a halfway to maybe two thirds of the way in, and then bringing it through the crease all the way across. There you go, you can kind of see what we're doing there. And then we're going to go back in with the new fluffy brush into the lighter shade from the duo, and we're going to put that on the inner part of the lid and blend that into the darker part on the top of the lid. And then we're going to go back with this flatter brush that we used for the darker neutral shade and kind of dry clean that a little bit. And by dry clean, I mean just dust it off on a dry towel and dip into that lighter shade. And we're going to go over the inner side of the lower lash line under eye area you don't want to actually get this in your lash line it is a dry powdered eyeshadow that would not be comfortable it would feel like sand in your eye if you ask me how i know it's because i've accidentally done it before <laughs> and by that i mean gotten eyeshadow in my eye i'm going to take the side of this with some more of that lightest shade and tap that into our inner corner for a little bit of highlight in there camera's not wanting to focus there we go like I said, we're doing that as our inner corner highlight and bring some more of that through there there we go Okay, now then to finish up this eye look, hmm, let me see, get out my trusty eyeshadow bag, or eyeliner bag, I think I want to go with this one, this is one that my mom gave me from her full size, her Ipsy Plus last month, it's Tres Lucy. Luce, I'm not sure. It's a gel liner. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not 100% from when I got sick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of this on my lower waterline. It's got kind of a nice coppery color to it. The other liner that came with the duo was a black liner. I will not be using that today, of course. It's a little too intense for this look to use a black gel liner. There we go. You can kind of see that a little bit. It's nothing too outrageous, but it's just enough to say, hmm. Okay, put those back. Try to keep from shaking the camera too much. Okay, now then, something else I've been loving here lately is the Wander beauty highline felt tip liner it is a black liner but it is a felt tip and it's got a really nice fine point to it my camera is not wanting to focus on things today i apologize for that and what i do is just a little bit of a wing i don't want to do anything too much and I'm just using my monitor as a reflective surface to apply this so if it's not my best I apologize come on 
This is way more of a wing than I intended to have. And that's what I get for using my monitor instead of my mirror. And try to match that up on the other side. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> Focus on getting this lined up. This liner is not behaving as well as it usually does either. And for that, I apologize. I've noticed there are certain eyeshadows that this goes over better than others. But I really like this liner. It's not the best, but it'll work. Um, for highlighter, I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter. This is another M MTU NYC. I had to look the brand name. This is the Luminizer Dewdrops. Um, I do not remember the shade name. But it's from last month's Ipsy. And what I do is take just the tiniest little pin size amount on the back of my hand. And with my finger, I ever so gently tap it into the spots where I want to have a little bit of highlight. Be the top of my cheekbones primarily. That's the area that gets most of it. And it just adds a really nice glow to my look. Take just a tiny, tiny amount right down the very center of the bridge of the nose, but not too far down. And then just a little bit more right on the tip of the Cupid's bow. There we go. And the last thing we've got to try out is my Lovecraft Beauty lip gloss. And of course, you're not going to be able to see much because it is just a sheer sparkly gloss. And I will have to fix my liner because it looks off absolutely awful. All right, and the last thing we're going to use is the Tarte Sugar Rush Lash Smoothie Mascara. Just to finish off this look with the lashes. I apologize for my less than stellar liner today. I don't know what was up. Probably my deciding not to use a mirror for my application. I also apologize for the fact that I sound absolutely awful in comparison to normal. I'm still fighting off some of the after effects of whatever I had. I've still got some chest congestion and sinus congestion. Um, I still lose my breath really easy. Um, yeah, it's no fun. And I'm vaxxed. So if it was COVID, I can only imagine how much worse it would have been if I wasn't vaxxed. So, but that's enough about that. Um... That is everything I had for y'all today, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!